Hello everyone, and welcome back to Monsters of the Past. As always, I'm your host, Mr. G, and today we're talking about Triceratops' overcompensating cousin, Styracosaurus. Styracosaurus means spiked lizard, and is a member of the Ceratopsid family, which is the group that includes all four-legged horned dinosaurs. It was an herbivore, and it lived during the late Cretaceous in North America. Styracosaurus was about 18 feet long, making it around 30% smaller than its famous relative. The most striking feature of Styracosaurus was the fact that instead of having brow horns like Triceratops, it instead had spikes sticking out of the top of its frill, and one long horn on its nose. Styracosaurus most likely used this horn in the same way modern rhinos do, in that it would have been both a method of defense and a way for males to fight each other during mating season. Thanks to the discovery of a massive fossil bed, we know that Styracosaurus might have lived in large herds that could reach a hundred individuals. Although some scientists argue against this, saying that those might have just have been Styracosauruses that had gathered at a watering hole that just happened to dry up, causing them to dehydrate to death at the same time. But other paleontologists are pretty sure that those were herd members. Styracosaurus is best represented from the Dinosaur Park Formation in Canada, where it lived alongside previous monsters of the past subjects, Parasaurolophus and Edmontonia. Contrary to popular belief, Styracosaurus did not live with T-Rex, although it did live with close relatives, such as Gorgosaurus and Displetosaurus, it did not live with the Rex itself, and in fact went extinct before Rex even existed. Now that we got that out of the way, let's look at the card. Okay, so far this is pretty good. It doesn't make anything wrong of it. Nose is straight, has the correct amount of spikes, doesn't have brow horns, which is a common mistake in media. But there is something odd. The fact that it has spikes on its eye ridge. I'm not even sure whether to count this as inaccurate or not, because I have seen other depictions that include this, but I haven't yet to see an actual scientific source say anything about them, so I'm not sure what's up with them. I'm not sure whether they count this as an inaccuracy or not. What I can count as an inaccuracy is the fact that on the back of the card, it shows it fighting a T-Rex. In fact, the description straight up calls it a T-Rex. However, as I said earlier, Styracosaurus and T-Rex were not contemporaries, meaning that such a scenario would not have been able to happen. Plus, Styracosaurus was dwarfed by T-Rex, making it very unlikely that Styracosaurus could get a good hit on it without getting eaten. So, yeah. But also, something that's questionably outdated is the fact that it claims that its nose horn is the longest of any dinosaur, which might still be true. I haven't found any other sources that claim that it wasn't, but the way the card's phrase makes it sound like its nose horn was the biggest horn of all dinosaurs, which is no longer true as we found another ceratopsid with bigger brow horns, but I haven't found anything yet on nose horns, so it might still be the record holder. Overall, because of the misplaced T-Rex on the back of the card, I think I'm going to give this card a 7 out of 10. Now let's look at Styracosaurus appearances in pop culture. One of the first Styracosaurus depictions was in the film, Son of King Kong. Also, fun fact about this film, this film came out the exact same year as the original King Kong, making it one of the shortest gaps between a sequel and the original film ever released. In the Jurassic Park franchise, Styracosaurus was mentioned as having been one of the animals engine cloned for the park, although there's never any scene in person. Styracosaurus has yet to appear in any of the films, although it has made its way into plenty of the Jurassic Park video games, such as Operation Genesis, Park 3 Park Builder, the fighting game Warpath Jurassic Park, and Jurassic World Evolution. Although interestingly, it did not appear in either Builder or Jurassic World the game, which is weird as it's such a famous animal you'd think it would have been in those games. But, oh well. Styracosaurus appears as an adoptable animal in the PC game Zoo Tycoon, and its sequel Zoo Tycoon 2. A Styracosaurus named Ema is one of the main characters of the Disney movie Dinosaur. Styracosaurus have appeared in Land Before Time. A very inaccurate Styracosaurus appears in The Good Dinosaur, going by the name of Forrest Woodbrush. I say he's inaccurate because he's literally just a Triceratops they stuck Styracosaurus horns on. And I know he's supposed to be a Styracosaurus because that's what every piece of supplementary material and merchandise says. So, yeah. 
And finally, in Ark Survival Evolved, the Triceratopses in the game are said to be a hybrid between Triceratops and Styracosaurus, and later on, an event came out where you could unlock a skin that you could put in your Triceratops to make it look more like a Styracosaurus. That's all for this episode of Monsters of the Past. Join me next time when I talk about the Wounding Tooth. Bye!